Now I'm gonna film a third scenario here, uh, just or a third step in our uh, sequence of videos here. Um, if you notice, I've already cleared the pairing table and I put the headset in a pairing mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair. And Bluetooth, do the discovery. And uh, B450 XT will show up. Pair to that. And make sure I got the checkbox sign. So now I'm connected. Now I'm going to show you how things don't work when you haven't bonded the parrot button to the service through the Blue Parrot app. So I'm just going to go direct into AT&T and hit the parrot button. And I'm not getting any responsiveness across the devices. So you do need to exit out and go into the Parrot app and go to Parrot button. And Parrot button. And so now it says compatible app. So again, I'll select AT&T and confirm the customization. And it asks that it make that pairing. Um, and now, now that I'm paired, so even though I was in the AT&T app and it wasn't showing any responsiveness, now that I have bonded the uh, app to the, ser the parrot button to the service, I'll go ahead and press the parrot button. Now you see that it launched uh, AT&T. And so I go into the talk line and then I have parrot button responsiveness and transmit. Parrot button responsiveness and transmit. So it, it is important, you know, in this sequence, the button must be assigned to AT&T using the Blue Parrot app before you can have uh, responsiveness within the app itself.